Traditional radiation therapy attacks more than cancer. Because surrounding healthy tissue gets hit too, treatment-related side effects have become just another challenge for cancer patients. Fortunately, newer, more precise technology is now available. It's called tomotherapy. Using advanced imaging and radiation delivery capabilities, tomotherapy targets cancer like never before. Learn more about today's cancer treatment options at Gamma West Cancer Services in St. George, Utah. Okay, good afternoon. At 11.09 uh, a.m. this morning, we received information of a possible aircraft crash in the area. We had deputies and search and rescue res uh, personnel respond out here. What ended up happening is we used the assistance of Life Flight Helicopter to verify that a plane crash had occurred. At this time, we can confirm, unfortunately, that two people have been deceased. We're not releasing the information of those people involved until we can have a notification of the next of kin. Right now, the FAA has been notified, and we are working in conjunction with and any other individuals that may be involved in it. So as of right now, we don't have any additional updates for you, but as soon as they become available, we will provide those. Good. They are using members of search and rescue. The rain, terrain is very ter uh, rough out there right now, so they are trying to recover the bodies and process the evidence. So as that becomes available, we'll try to get you as much information as possible. And, and so the medical examiner has already been on scene? I am not sure about that. I know they were notified. Can you tell us more about variables you're having to deal with in addition to the terrain? What? At this point, the terrain is the main variable. Getting the personnel out there is obviously an obstacle that we're having to overcome. Uh, thank goodness we have a search and rescue as well as BLM and other agencies that are uh, assisting in this investigation, and they're making sure that we can get the proper resources where they need to be. Could you describe the area a little bit for us? As you can see here behind, a little bit further out, um, there is, it's pretty, the uh, accident itself actually took place on the slope of a pretty steep mountain. So what they're using is they're using a high angle rescue team to get some of the resources down there and probably in the recovery of the bodies at this point. Could you describe initially uh, in terms of how you use LifeLight to go in there and, and uh, try to look for movement, just kind of those initial phases of the search and rescue? One of the initial things that we're concerned of is that the complainant or the first citizen that was concerned and called in saying they saw an aircraft go down was they said they saw it, but there was no crash indications. So what we did is an initial response with our deputies out here and realizing that the terrain was very steep and rugged, we asked for the assistance of Life Flight to come out, fly over the area and confirm if in fact there was an aircraft crash and what type of aircraft it was. At this point, we're just waiting for the investigators to determine if there is any indication that the FAA will come in and they're going to conduct their investigation on possible causes regarding the aircraft. They're going to process the crime scene as far as recovering the bodies at this point. We'll get their initial investigation, and at that point, we should be able to wrap up and start looking at the evidence. And normally when those investigators come in, they still leave it to the local law enforcement to, to release the names and the identities. And Do we have any time frame when that may happen? As soon as we have the notification of next of kin. That's just the variable that we have to work with. In terms of uh, radio traffic, do, do we know if there was any sort of a, a mayday call from this plane that they were experiencing trouble? We haven't heard any indications of that. We got about uh, 9 o'clock this morning with my brother, sorry about that, and uh, we heard the plane coming overhead just normal and then it sputtered for a second and then the plane just dropped uh, straight down, went behind the, uh, the ridge, so we didn't know what happened, didn't hear anything else. Uh, and so we, we called 911 and they said call the FAA. They gave us a number for the FAA, but uh, the number didn't work. So my brother left. I went and rode up barrel roll and saw the plane on the side of the hill. Went over to the hill and uh, yelled to see if anybody would answer me. I couldn't get over by it. Um, nobody answered. I told my go for help. Rode down, borrowed a cell phone, and then waited for everybody to show up. How far away from the plane would you say you were? On when the I yelled? Yeah. Probably uh, two tenths of a mile, but I was across the, the wash there. You didn't see any movement? No or movement, no. The, the wings had come off the front of it. It, a, it looked like a regular plane, except the wings had shifted forward from the impact. Yeah, it's bushy and rocky, um, and it's about three quarters of the way up a hill. The slope is probably about that angle. So when the plane came down, it actually, I think the reason we didn't hear it is it hit a slope that was pretty much parallel to the plane, because it was, you know, it just hit it, and then it looks like it hit a rock, and the plane, uh, the wings kind of shifted off of it. So. But again, no clear warning signs that you could see of, of any kind of trouble. Nothing. Describe no. what that was like again. It just goes straight down? Yeah, well, it was just going along and it was, uh, it sounded normal. It was a little bit loud, like I said, it was normal. And we just happened to be standing at the gate, putting our bikes over the gate. So we just happened to be standing there, else I wouldn't have been paying attention to it. 
my brother was telling me a story and all of a sudden he's like, look at that plane. And it was just, it just, I heard a sputter and, I, and then it was going down and kind of just losing control with the wings and right straight down. That was the last we heard was the sputter and then it just died.